Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm talking quietly because it is 7.37. I've been up for quite a while and I wanted to get started on my Friday haul. Today is Tuesday, but I wanted to do it like in little segments so that I could show you different things as they come in. So let's talk about the first new thing that I've got going on here. And that is my hair. I have been in a bit of a hair dilemma since, honestly, I've been in a hair dilemma since the butterfly cut. And I think I've mentioned here before that I did not, I regret doing that. I'm just so thankful that Morgan wouldn't let me get it cut shorter because I regret it. And the reason I do is because it was much harder to style or let's just say it had to be styled and it had to be styled fresh. It wasn't a hairstyle that I could just do at night like I like to do and sleep on and wear for a couple of days. It had to be styled fresh. And so since then, I have been, you know, just letting my layers grow out and not really doing anything. Well, then right before I went to the style conference, I had some low lights put in my hair because if you're a blonde, you know that you do blonde, you do blonde, you do blonde, and then every once in a while you have to put some low lights in to just kind of break it up some. And it actually makes your blonde look blonder. And I loved it, but it didn't last. I don't know if the shampoo at the hotel took it out or what happened. So when I went back to get more, and this happens, this is all things that happen. If you're a blonde, you know, then we did too much dark. Then what did we do? It was too dark. So then we did too much light. Then I had a little meltdown one time because the top of my hair was too cool toned and the bottom of my hair was too warm toned. I'm sitting in my room and honestly, guys, I haven't even made up my bed because Baba is sleeping on it. And I just didn't want to wake him up. Didn't want to move him, and I felt like you guys would forgive me. <laughs> and this is where I have my morning sun. It just came up over there. So anyway, then what happened is in the fro, Victoria. I loved how she changed her hair color and how she kept the front of it light, and then she put the dark kind of in the back. So I started asking Morgan for that, and I would take pictures and take pictures and I was not expressing it correctly. And Morgan just kept giving me more just darker tones in there, but not like the placement that I wanted. So we go back and forth, go back and forth. And then finally I said, okay, I know what I want to say. Cause I was trying to say balayage. She says, well, balayage means lightening it. And I said, okay, Instead of being a tortoiseshell cat, I want to be a Siamese. And I think that she, that is what she caught on to. So yesterday I went and she did the dark tone, of course, and like combed it down a little bit through my roots. And then she toned the front of it and left that plain. Now, do I like it? No. <laughs> it's too dark for me. It's too dark for me and the front isn't blonde enough, but it will fade, I know, and it is something different and I wanted to try it. And I always say this, sometimes you have to do something and you have to just get it out of your system. And that is what I did. I kind of just got it out of my system. I do wish this was lighter and I wish that she had left my front part maybe a little bit thicker but she said that it is going to fade and, you know, it kind of gives us a good base to go off of now because it's just 9NN that we've always used for my roots. But because there's more of it and she pulled it down further, it looks darker. So I've got on my pretty typical makeup. I did use a few new things I'm going to show you today and I think everything still looks good. So... I'm real big on when something happens and you don't like it, turning it into a positive. And, you know, it's not about what happens. It's about how you react and taking responsibility. And I take responsibility because I kept on her and kept on her. No, it's not dark enough. No, it's not separate. And then she gave me what I had asked for. And now 
I don't care for it. So I am going to enjoy it while it's here. And last night, I didn't want to do too much to it. So I did the Dyson Air Wrap. And I think I waited until it was too dry because my curl didn't really hold and it's still kind of frizzy. And that is what will happen when you use the Dyson Air Wrap. That is the difference to me in like using a wand. Like tonight, I might use the wand or the Air Wrap. The Air Wrap doesn't like straighten each indiv individual hair as much. It just takes those hairs and wraps them around the wand like that. So that is why it is, I kind of like it big. And then this morning I did go over it with that smoothing tool and that really helped like smooth out the front. So let me know what you think down below. And another thing I'm gonna do today is some Zara try-ons. I did a $2,500 Zara unboxing. And so today I'm gonna try on all the clothes, including the little top that I have on now and the jeans and these fabulous shoes. Enough about the hair, but you know it's a big deal to me. So like I said, let me know what you think down below and then let me show you some good things I got this week. Okay, starting with this, you guys. Why haven't I tried this? The Charlotte Tilbury Blush Cheek to Chic in the Climax. Our Ulta got Charlotte Tilbury. And when I went in there, you guys, it was just so beautiful because no one had messed it up. All the testers weren't crazy looking. Everything was pretty much in stock, everything I wanted. And it was just so pretty because we have just a little end cap of Charlotte Tilbury here in our little Sephora that's in Kohl's. So to see that big Charlotte Tilbury was so much fun. So I got this blush and you guys, it is just, it is just me in a blush because it's your neutral brown tone, brownie pink, kind of like, remember Burberry Earthy, I think is the name of it, and like Tarte Exposed. I'm trying to think of all those blushes that are just that, almost like a contour tone. That's how this is, but with the peach in the middle. It is just gorgeous. I love it. Today is my second day wearing it, and I just love it. It is so good. I mean, two thumbs up. 10 out of 10, you need it. Okay, this is just same old, same old, but I wanted to show you, this is my Abaji cleanser and toner. Now this comes in the New Derm kit that I buy from my dermatologist, but I always run out of the cleanser and the toner. So a lot of times I will get those from Amazon and they come sealed up and I, not only are they sealed, see how they still have even the plastic on the inside that shows it's sealed from the factory. So I just wanted to show you these in case you wanted to try them. I think, I think they're just the best. Now I use other things in the shower. Right now I'm using the one I showed you from Freeze Co Beauty. And then after I get through with that, I'll use the Osea Milk Cleanser. Because when I get in the shower, I've already, you know, broken my makeup up with the Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm. So when I get in the shower, I kind of cleanse my face off a little bit and get that off in the water. And then I use my cleanser. And a lot of times I like to just use something different in the shower. But I just wanted to show you those. Okay, this is something I actually got probably two weeks ago. And I keep forgetting to show you. And I was so excited when this came out. It is the, it is the Anastasia. It is their brow pomade. But, oh, brow freeze. But in a gel. And this is amazing. Okay. It has the wand that goes flat, kind of like the Benefit that I like. And then I'll let you see my brows today. I used it and I used the Anastasia brow, the, the squarish or slanted one, not the skinny one in taupe. And then I used this and I like it. Now it is something you have to pay attention a little bit more than you do when you're using like the Too Faced brow laminate because that's just, you know, like this. This, you kind of have to place them a little bit, but you get better precision and I feel like they stay better. So it just depends on, are your brows like really important to you? 
If they are, you will love this. If they're not, it might be, you know, too much for you to think about. Okay, I feel like I have had this before, but it says new. Like when you look at the, I think it was the Nordstrom website. So I saw it in Ulta and went ahead and picked it up. It is the Super Nudes palette and the little flyer that comes in it makes it seem like, okay, it's going to be two different, you know, little compacts here. What am I trying to say? Two different palettes. So it groups these as your base, your accent, kind of like your darken or pop, whatever she says. And then this is the side I use today. So this is, I did this on my lid, but I used this mostly. This color, this is my favorite, which that's no surprise because I'm a taupey person. And then I did use a little bit of that black on the edge, but I didn't want to go too dark. So far, so good, but I tell you guys, that Kim Kardashian skin palette is amazing. Now, so many of you said it was just like the Mario, his basic, you know, palette, his nudes, everyday palette. I can't remember what it's called. Neutral mattes, but I think it's better. I've never felt this way about his palette. I do think that the, his creamy color is lighter and a little bit more pigmented, but I think it's worth trying. I think it's worth having both of them. I, maybe I'll try to get Brooke to swatch them all on her pretty little arm one day and show you a difference in the colors, but I would buy that skin palette again and again. I love it. I like it better than this one. Okay, and then two other things I purchased when I was at Ulta are these two lipsticks. Now, one of you on Instagram sent me a DM and you said that you couldn't believe I didn't have the lipstick and you gave me the name, and I did not take a screenshot. Okay, I get so many DMs, you guys. I have to check them a couple times a day, and they'll just be like, every time I check, there's like 20 of them. So I could not find your message. So if that was you, will you please message me again? I was looking to see if I remembered any of the names, and I ended up getting these two colors. And this one is Nude Fantasia. And you can see that I just used Nude Fantasia over what I have on. So I have on this on the top. And I mean, look at that packaging. It cannot be her packaging. And then this is Skin Sane. That's Skin Sane. This one is so pretty. So that one is just has a little bit more color and a little bit pinker. So that's Skin Sane. And then that's Nude Fantasia, Skin Sane Fantasia. Okay, and then Skylar sent me a new fragrance of theirs, and they are a clean, vegan, all of that good stuff fragrance line. This is a hyperallergenic, safe for sensitive skin, and eco-friendly. This is the Sun-Kissed Dahlia. Okay, so let's read the back here. It's um, Dahlia, Apple, and Amber. Bold and beautiful florals are kissed with the sun's embrace. Run your fingers along the tops of budding blooms as you gaze into the horizon full of promise. So let's try this. Brooke tried it and said it was really good. And so it does come in this size, which is the 50 milliliter. And the, the price is really good on these two. So we're going to take the roller ball. Let's touch together. Apple. Apple. Oh my gosh. Okay. Apple with deepness. The amber. Fresh and deep. <laughs> Does that make sense? Wow. That is so good. That is such a happy, fresh scent. The amber is really coming on now. First of all, you get apple. And then you do get that apple-y amber, like right at the end very pretty. Okay, this is going to be a fragrance that men like because what do we know? We know that they like gourmand scents and then they like amber and those smooth, creamy scents like that. Usually things with cashmere in the name, things like that. So sun-kissed dahlia, absolutely nothing that is sharp, nothing too sweet. Even the sweetness of the apple is, you know how I say it's kind of like a round scent. You know what I mean? You just feel like it's round and soft. 
just beautiful. So if you're in Sephora, give this a smell. It's very, very different. No, it's more serious than an Escada. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of, like what I would kind of what category I would put it in. I would put it in with like the Prada Paradox category. That type of deepness, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I need to create my own fragrance dictionary. Round and deep. Hey guys, I'm back. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> this is one of my favorite holidays. Oh, I am not a big Halloween person. I love Christmas, but I'm not like a lot of people are. I'm not, I don't go over the top with it and it does stress me out. But Valentine's Day and Easter, those are my favorites. And of course, I love St. Patrick's Day because my baby girl was born on St. Patrick's Day. And I love like the decor. When I had little kids and I was Susie Homemaker, I would always do my kitchen table. We had a kind of like a, it sat six people and it was, I was into the shabby chic or the French, French country back then. And so I was over the top. There's many bows, ribbons, flowers. I had a huge floral bouquet and I loved like doing the different placemats, napkin holders and napkins for each different holiday. And I remember Valentine's was my favorite and so was Easter. I just loved it. I've never been, I never decorated for Halloween or anything like that. Maybe something outside. Oh yeah, I used to have one of those flags. Like a lot of you have noticed we have the American flag out here. Well, I used to have one of those flags that I changed for every holiday, everybody's birthday. We would have some with cats, some with the beach, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I enjoyed it. I'm just kind of like at a different, I think like with your style of fashion, you can grow out of different styles of home decor and, you know, just different things like that. I really think it's when your kids are grown, <laughs> but you know, it happens. So, okay. I got the Cinema Secrets. I was just smelling it to see how different it smelled because I just got it yesterday. And I think I told you last Friday that I had ordered this. I didn't realize they had come out with a new scent because the blue one, it is so strong it's so strong that when you use your brushes, you will smell that scent. And it's just, um, it's not it's, that it's that bad. It's just so powerful. Like you just don't like it. You feel like this can't be good for me. So they came out with this lemon scent. It is quick drying. When they say quick drying, they mean it. It's not like the MAC brush cleaner that you can, you know, sprinkle on a napkin and use that way. It will evaporate before you get through with your makeup. I've tried it. The way I do this is I like to actually put some warm water in just a good old like Pyrex measuring cup or glass jar or whatever and you know pour this in there dilute it and it still cleans my brushes great I mean you'll see that stuff just disintegrating so let me use this and see how it goes but the scent I can already tell is better and lighter so much better and then I don't know if you noticed that I had my nails redone if you watched my, I'll put my favorites video up here. I think that's when I told you. I think I went that day. Oh my God. I shut this finger, not in the door. It's kind of a weird thing. I have a Tesla and the door handles are flush until they unlock and then they come out. Well, I was going to get something out of the back seat, went to go do like this. And first, I think I hit the nail some either then or some other time then it shut like the door handle literally shut on my finger i would think there would be a safety thing for that but there wasn't i literally had to push it again to get it to come out so my nail is pretty much broken like right there bleeding it was not a pretty sight and let me tell you i felt like i was going to have to call the ambulance it hurt so bad you know they have those movies i can't remember the last one where they i think it was homeland where that's how they torture people is with their fingernails oh my gosh now oh i get it more than ever because it hurt so i went to a different place because i thought the last experience was not that good it just wasn't i won't go into it but let's just say it involved um tea bags that were felt like they were 300 degrees they put on my feet that like burnt the top of my feet the daddy I didn't like the way he did my nails they had me soaking in that acetone the whole time I did my 
pedicure and it just was like in my lap. I mean, it was just such a bad experience. I was like, there's no way I'm doing that again. So I did go to a new place. I had a really sweet lady. And every time she even looked at that fingernail, I would say, well, remember, that's my hurt finger. That's my hurt finger. Because typically I don't want to like bug somebody. I'm, th you know, I don't want them to think, yeah, lady, I know it's your hurt finger. But at that point, I didn't care. So anyway, I had just a good old French manicure. I, I wish they weren't quite as long and maybe a little bit thinner, but you know what? It is what it is. And a lot of you said that you liked my natural nails better. And I love long fingernails. I used to have the longest, most beautiful hands and fingernails. My hands weren't so skinny. I mean, I, I got complimented on my hands and nails all the time, especially when I waitressed and bartended and stuff like that. And so I do love long nails and I'm going to give this a little bit longer, see how it goes. And then, you know, I might be back to the short nails. Who knows? But that is the fun of being a woman. We get to do crazy things like that. So, okay, what do I start with first? Let me start with this first because I feel so strongly about it. And I do want to do favorites every month because I feel good about that. I show you so many things and I try so many things that when something really thrills me or stands out, like in that video, I really want to tell you about it because I know little things like this can get lost. This is the Tarte Shimmer Plump and Juicy, and this is the one in the pearl. You guys, this is like, you can see I've been can see I've been using the heck out of it. I'm so excited I got a backup. Okay, remember the Dior Ultra White lipstick that I love so much that you can lighten any lip color. It makes every center of your lip better. And I then I tried the Wet n Wild stick. Then I tried the NYX and they were like, they'd get the job done, but they weren't the same. This, I just got butterflies. This makes every lip combo better. I've got on the Sicily chocolate lip liner with the mac oh i'm not going to remember the name of the lipstick but it's in the newest collection it's kind of like a valentine's day lunar new year type lipstick and i like it but watch after this it's almost like they just hardened up a lip gloss a little bit so you have to be careful with it but watch Okay, can you see the difference in my lower lip and my top? See how pretty that made that look. We can't stop there. I'm going to get probably two backups of this. Okay, look at one half versus the other. Remember how as if you get shimmer up here, that makes your lips look more full? And... It is plumping. I don't feel a sting. I feel it kind of like a minty plumping. And I mean, it penetrated that lipstick. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now I am going to blot that because I would have never put that much on. I just wanted you to see the remarkable difference that it made. Okay. It feels so good though. It's definitely not a stinging plumping. It's just like a cooling plumping but this is what I do every day As a matter of fact when Brooke comes over because she's here every day she's either working for me or uh, here to pick up some toilet paper or you know, here to see us she always goes in my bathroom and weighs herself and I tell her why are you weighing with all of your clothes on after you've eaten but she weighs herself every day and she said she always sees my toilet paper in the toilet with my kiss my lipstick on it because after I do my makeup I do a lip like this and I always blot it off like that because I don't like goopy lips at all. Let's do some sunglasses because I never show you sunglasses, do I? But sunglasses, they're so much fun. And these, okay, this, of course, there's a story with this. You know, denim bags are just like so in right now. And I love denim bags. I always have. And if you've been here a long time, you might remember Michael Kors. Okay, not the regular mainstream Michael Kors that is at TJ Maxx and Marshalls or is even on his website. But on the Michael Kors website, you can get to like his runway, like the more expensive things. He had two denim handbags on his website. And you know how I say like some things I'll spend so much crazy money for, but some things I'm really 
tight about. Like I want to get those on sale. And I wanted to get those on sale. And I kept checking on them. I think I linked them a couple of times for you guys. And I just never did get them. And they're gone. So now I ha do have a Chanel denim flat bag that I love. And it has silver hardware. I love it. And I've got one special denim handbag on the way. And so anyway, all this to say, I went on the Michael Kors website and I was on the like higher end, which I do really even love the regular Michael Kors sunglasses. But then I saw these and they come in three different colors. And you know, the key sunglasses that Paris Hilton did called Still Rich, those are probably my favorite sunglasses of all times. Like those just make me happy. I'm not saying I look the best in them. They don't go in my hair, but there's just something about them that I love. And they discontinued them and they never brought them back. Well, these kind of remind me of that. Are they not fabulous? And I did get like this nude color. I haven't adjusted my nose piece yet, but they have them in different colors and I might be tempted like to get a black or something. They're so like 70s Charlie's Angels race car um, vibey. And I love sunglasses that you can see my eyes through. I just love that for some reason. So I was thinking when I tried these on, I loved them so much. Sometimes I feel like I tell you and tell you and tell you how much I like something and then it gets discontinued and then every time I wear it everybody's where'd you get your lion ring where'd you get those sunglasses and I know I've got new people here but I feel like sometimes I just need to say if you like these you have to get them you have to get them because they'll be gone and they're special and they're not as expensive as like Gucci or some of the other glasses and I just love like that nude color Oh, I just love them. I think they're so fabulous and vibey. Let me know what you think below. I know, I know they're over the top, but you know, life is short. Life is short. Let's go over the top and love it. And it does, they did come in a nice little case. And I do love my Vela sunglasses. And you guys, they're still buy one, get one. So that is just like such a good deal. Those are the best sunglasses you will be able to get for $100. I mean, they're so good. And I want to try more with the nose pieces. I'm glad I just thought of that because I want to order some of those and try those for us. Okay, some PR that I got this week, and I literally just got this late yesterday. And it's these Bare Minerals. I always love, I know they put everybody's name on there, but it's so true. There's just something about having your name on something. Of course, I'm Southern. We like to monogram everything. And I used to have a monogram machine and I used to do that when I made handbags and window treatments and I would make the night lights. Actually, I would do that as a gift. When I did window treatments for someone, I would use a piece of their window treatment, make them a little nightshade. You get them at like Michael's and they're adhesive and you put the fabric on there and then you hot glue their trim because I loved over the top trim. I loved beads, tassels, dangles, all that kind of stuff. And then I would monogram theirs and everybody always loved it. Let me see if I still have mine. Hold on. Okay, so this was what I made the window treatments out of in my old, old kitchen. Oh my gosh. I loved those and I did the green glass knobs and then this trim and you can see it's it's been in my kitchen so it got dirty because it was right by my sink but um so yeah if you want to do this just get the kit at Michael's and then go get some trim and have your fabric uh, just take it to the local somebody that does monogramming I'm sure there's someone there and then you know just put your bulb in it so I'm gonna keep this out to do something with it. It was in my laundry room in the cabinet. All that to say, I got something new at Bare Minerals and they have come out with some new lips. My favorite, Romance Awaits with these swoon worthy shades that you can fall for again and again. We can't wait to see how you create the perfect palette. Okay, so it's all kinds of dark colors. Okay, I did get one lipstick. Okay, it's a lip gloss balm in warmth. So I thought we would at least swatch this one. Wowza. Oh, that is pretty. Very pretty. I know they say the best selling color is actually mauves. This is brave. 
and it looks kind of um, browny. Hmm, okay. But sometimes I like the browns when I mix them with a rosy lip liner. Okay, Brave is probably going to be too dark for me, but it will be a great nude if you have darker skin. I'm not that brave. Okay, let's try one more nude, which was determined, because I am determined to find one of these that we like. I'm determined. Okay, yay, I think determined. You know, that is kind of a cool color if you like darker lips. I think it has so much to do. Have you guys gone down the rabbit hole of something about the weight of your face? I cannot remember it right now. My friend Tracy told me about it. If you know, tell me down below. You know, I don't have dark features, so it, sometimes it's hard for me to pull off dark colors. Ugh, sassy. Just want to get in John's office, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm determined, let's try spirited. Come on, spirited. Okay, that's pretty, but it's bright. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like you have to get the one that I tell you to go get. Okay, this is a gloss, so maybe that'll be... I always hear that mauve tones are the best sellers. And this is a mauve gloss. I feel like I need to show you something. Okay, this... I am so glad we kept up. That is the best one of the whole bunch. So when you go or look at these online on Ulta is where I'd say go. I don't think Sephora, I don't know if Sephora sells bare minerals, but um, that is a good one. Okay, so I blotted that off. I still have a little bit of the shimmer and the lip liner, but that's how you get the best lip combos, guys. It's just take it off and layering and layering and layering. This one is pretty. This is your everyday person who just wants one lip color to put in their bag and you know like i always see people getting ready in the car well, i used to when i used to go to work early like a nine to five job and i would look over and there would be somebody putting on their makeup in the car at the stoplight which i've never done that so this would be that color for sure i mean i really like that i think it's a good half color on your lips but not too much kind of like i say with blushes okay so let's let's discuss the elephant in the room again. You guys, you're gonna have to be my friends. You're gonna have to be my friends. I need you at this moment. I regret this so bad. And I'm gonna have to be an adult and I'm gonna have to turn this into a positive somehow and take responsibility. And, but I just feel like I'm not gonna sit here and say that I like this hair color because I do not. I do not. I did not want it this dark, but I know that happens. So I'm not I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying, please be patient with me because if when I'm talking, you see me crying back here behind my eyes, that's why. I, and I'm very upset with myself that it matters that much. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I do YouTube or because I had, you know, worked so hard to get my hair to where it was. I think that's a lot of it. And just knowing like now to get it back blonde, I'm going to have to probably damage it. So I was thinking last night, I was like, well, if you have damaged hair, just hop on along with me because I'm probably going to have pretty much damaged hair too. And we're going to make it better. We're going to get through the summer. Your hair grows faster in the summer. In the summer, you don't have to do as much with it. I'll probably be rocking a Carrie Bradshaw kind of just natural hair for a while. And I just wanted to fill you in that... I was hoping I would like it. I was hoping I could learn to like it, but I can't. And here's another thing. John doesn't like it. I haven't even seen my parents, but they're not going to like it. I never wanted it to be this dark. So um, just wanted to say that because you are my friends. You are. I talk to you more than I talk to any other. And I want you just to know what's going on with me and be here to support me. Please don't say anything mean or anything because I'm very sensitive to it right now. And I just appreciate you being here so much. So, and learn from me. Learn from me. I don't know why I, and this is, I'm going to try to learn from this. Why did I want something new? You know what I mean? Like, why? Why did I want, when I already loved my hair, why did I feel like I needed something new? I need to just learn to be happy with it. I had done that for so long. And that damn in the fro, she looked so pretty. And I, I just wanted, I didn't want her color. I just wanted that placement. And I got it. So I'm hoping that it will fade. And I'm hoping I can get back to where I want to be. So hop along the struggle bus. 
with me, please. And <laughs> thank you for being here. Okay, so this is going to be in my Zara try-on haul. It's just a very simple, sexy little slip dress. It reminds me so much of one that Carrie wore in Sex in the City that was white, that was very simple like this. I did get a medium, but I would get your true size. I guess it just depends on how big you are through the chest. I am just wearing my Soma bra. And then I have on my favorite Zara shoes of all times, which are the clear ones. I swear you guys, when I saw these were in stock, I wanted to just get another backup pair. Even though I think I have, I know I have two, if not three. But this is something else that you need in your wardrobe are these shoes. Because don't think of them as clear sandals. Think of them as nothing. Think of them as the ultimate nude shoe. The ultimate. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with dresses. You can wear them with sweatpants. You can wear them with anything. Matter of fact, when I am doing a try-on video, I know I can grab these shoes and wear them with everything. So that's another thing. And then I'm glad I got up because I had two more things to show you. When I ordered that tiger pillow... I also ordered these. Now my interior decorator told me always order pillows in sets of two. I didn't do that with the tiger pillow, but I ended up giving that to Brooke because I just didn't, I didn't need it. I just got it to show you guys. And because I thought it was cool and I knew she would like it. I actually thought I might, I, anyway, I thought I might put it on the couch, but I ended up liking those better. I'm not even going to take the plastic off of these because I thought I was going to maybe want these on my bed. And you guys, I love my bed like it is so much. I can't do it. And I know that I have gotten like kind of boring with my, you know, I don't change my home decor that much. Not that you care, but you know what I mean. But I mean, when something makes you happy like that, just leave it and enjoy it. So... I do love those. They're Juicy Couture, and I love them. And I love that they're white with the simple leopard. I think it's kind of chic. And I might end up using them in, might even put them in like two of my dining room table chairs or something. But I'm going to keep them, so I'm going to keep the plastic on them so they don't get dirty. Okay, have I told you everything? I've got on Jenny Bird uh, balloon hoops. I've got on my Ideal Diamonds, you guys. These are so good. I know they're expensive, but they're so good. And then I was thinking of my daddy today. I have on the Lion Pendant that my parents got me for Christmas, but I think my daddy picked it out. And that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. See you back for the Zara video, and I hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye.